गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्व टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डाई हाइब्रिड क्रॉस फ्रॉम चैप्टर फाइव प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस एंड वेरिएशन डाई हाइब्रिड क्रॉस it is a cross in which two traits are considered at a time friends traits are actually the features friends let's understand the concept of dihybrid cross from this picture friends here you can notice that the parents are having genes of two different trait the first trait is of height and the second trait is of shape of seed so students here two traits are considered are being considered height of the plant and shape of the seed which it bears when a pea plant with homozygous stolons and round seeds is crossed with homozygous dwarf plant with wrinkled seeds then it can be an example of dihybrid cross so students if a pea plant with homozygous stolons and round seeds is being crossed with the homozygous dwarf plant and wrinkled seed then it can be called as the example of dihybrid cross so students when we say homozygous tolerance then that is capital t capital t which you can see here also which represents the first feature that is the height of the plant which is here you are tall now the another feature is the shape of seed which is a round seed students which you can see is being represented by capital r capital r which represents pure round shape of the seed and which is further being crossed with the small t small t and small r small r which represents dwarf and wrinkled so students both these two features that is two traits are being crossed that is why it can be example of dihybrid cross the genotype of homozygous tall plants with round seeds is capital t capital t capital r capital r is capital t capital t capital r capital r so students here also let's understand it with the help of this picture where it is written tall plants with round seeds so here this is the trait first trait and this is the second trait so students this shows the height of the plant and this shows the shape of the seed which is further represented by capital t capital t and capital r capital r the genotype of homozygous dwarf pea plant with wrinkled seed is smaller smaller small t small t so students in this pea plant also two traits are being considered the short plant 
which represents the height of the plant which is the first plate being considered and students the second plate which is being considered is the shape of seed shape of seed so students in total two plates are being considered and the genotype is represented by small t small t and small r small r the first phylal progeny in dihybrid cross is 100% hybrid tall pea plant with round seeds so students here we can notice that the homozygous pure tall pea plant with pure round seeds are being crossed with the pure dwarf pea plant with pure wrinkled seeds and in the f1 generation we can notice that 100% hybrid tall round seeds has been obtained when selfing is being done in between progeny of second phylal generation then the progeny obtained is in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so students when the selfing is done in between the progeny first phylal generation then we can notice that from the first phylal generation if is being self then the phenotypic ratio obtained is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so students 9 represents the tall round seeds which are 9 in number so students you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 sorry this is not the tall round so students still 5 pair 6 there after this one 7 8 and 9 so students here we can notice that the total number of phenotypic feature of the dominant gene is 9 tall round now students here the 3 represents the tall wrinkled so here you can number tall wrinkled 1 tall wrinkled 2 and tall wrinkled 3 now students the remaining 3 is the short round so students let's count how many short rounds are there so short round 1 short round 2 and short round 3 so students thus it forms 9 is to 3 is to 3 and finally the one short wrinkle which is only one in number So it becomes nine to three to three to one. Now, students, let's discuss an important question. What is genotypic ratio of second phylal generation in dihybrid cross?
the genotypic ratio of second filial generation in dihybrid cross is 5 is to 4 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Thank you students.